What's up, YouTube? This is Cash J Drevit with Cash Collections. Um, this video is about my lid. I've had many people asking me questions in Facebook groups and even um, here in the comment area about, um, you know, how I uh, make my little small whipped creams to put in the middle. They wanted to know what it were and things like that. And so this is me explaining how I, you know, accomplished the small part whip of the whipped cream with the spackling and you know basically how I start the whole process and so right now we're getting ready to go into that we're gonna do the little small part of the whipped cream this is like the most important part you guys I swear it helps when it's dried um, it helps to keep the spackling with the whipped cream part uh, from sinking in so I know y'all seen this in another video how I start this off with or whatever but I use a piping bag I know many people ask me what number this this is, and to be honest, I really don't know. I'm not a baker. I don't make cakes right on cakes. I've had this for like two years, y'all, but I swear I have no idea. But if you could like just look at it yourself and kind of tell, you know, that's uh, that's what I use. And so I'm gonna show y'all how I um, start my little lid area again. This is who I get my um, spackling from. I love them. I don't do nobody else, anything else or whatnot. And so we're just gonna start. I'm gonna go ahead and make a good amount of these because I go through these a lot, the whipped creams lids a lot. So you don't have to add any color to this, uh, anything like that. Just stick it all in there. You yeah, know, this is a fun, messy job. <laughs> so I love doing this. And uh, just want to give you guys heads up. I do have three kids <laughs> and they are outside. So if y'all hear any noise in the background, just understand it's my little rug rats. That's what they do. They like to run in and out, in and out the house. All right, so I just push it all down like that. You know, just kind of get it to the bottom. I always use wax paper. I use wax paper because um, it actually helps to be able to pull off the whips when you're ready to use it. And so I don't use nothing else besides that. All right, so I'm going to just show you how I do it. Now, this don't have to be perfect, but it has to sit up straight to give y'all that nice look. That nice full look. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm kind of smashing it in. Like, I'm going to the top and I'm smashing it in. I'm going to the top and I'm smashing it. Because it helps with the balance of the whipped cream. It will start to lean to the side if you don't do that. And then I just twist it a little bit. Yep. And so, that's how I do it. Now, like I said, they will start to lean to the side, but as long as the lean is not that bad, you don't have to worry about it. You just want your, how, however high this is, is how high it will help support your whipped cream when you're ready to go around it. It's the best, y'all, like I'm telling you. So the higher you can get this up, the better. And I had to learn this when I was first doing the whipped cream for the Grinch mugs. And I'm like, oh, my stuff keeps set, still sinking in, and it's crazy. Yep, up, down. And you can see it kind of still trying to lean to the side, but it's okay. You can always fix it back with your, uh, your piper. Yep, so you just do this. Get as many as you can out of this. Now you gotta make sure that your spackling is a little bit thick because I'm not gonna lie to y'all, sometimes that spackling be way too 
soft and when you're doing this it will like no matter what you do it will tilt over and so what I would do is I would leave the um, lid off the spackling so it can thicken up some and then that's the best time to use it or you could just pour your spackling inside of your bag and just like put it off to the side to allow the spackling to get thick because if it's way too soft no matter how many times you smash this in or whatever it's still going to lean because it's, it has no support um, in the texture so you definitely want to make sure that your spackling feels a little thick like I can't explain to y'all how many times I struggled with that and all my little whipped creams kept going off to the side and it was just ridiculous. Now to be honest, y'all ain't gotta make it this perfect. I'm just, I just like stuff to look cute no matter what I do. <laughs> Because even if you really wanted to, if you had like another um, tip or whatever, and you just want to swirl some up to the top, the only thing that you just need to worry about is how high your whip is. Because it makes, it helps with the um, height of your ice cream or your whipped cream. Now, like I said, it ain't got to be perfect, but to me, everything got to be perfect. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just do one more so we can get to the next part of this video. And so what I do with this, once I'm done, if I'm okay with how many I have, you know, I'll uh, just leave it to the side, put it, where, put it wherever you want it to. I'm gonna do one more, I just got to, cause I sell a lot of these. <laughs> I'd rather get them all out the way. And do a bunch of them at once okay so what you do is you just leave it to the side and if you have like a heating area um it's best to put it in there put it somewhere where you know where you got some heat at so that way um you won't have to wait so long for it to dry out it, you if you're trying to take it off the wax and it seems like it's too hard like it's peeling the wax off that means that at the bottom of it is still not dry don't touch it, let it sit there and dry. You're gonna know that it's completely dry if it becomes easy to take it off the wax. That is very important to know y'all, cause trust me, I have struggled with that, but that's it. So I let this sit for about a good, I have a drying area uh, where I put my things at. So I let it sit for about a good day. Usually I do this at night and then, um, you know, add it by the next day in the afternoon and it's easier to peel off once you put it in your drying area show you guys how it's gonna come out once it is completely dry um, after I show you um, show you how I prep my lid so before in one of my videos I showed y'all how I put the um, small whip and this lip how I just glued it to here well, I'm going to show y'all what another idea that I came up with because I feel like, you know, the higher the whip, the better. And I love the full effect of it. I know everybody was crazy about the whipped cream, but now you can actually give it more of an ice cream look. I mean, the list goes on. And so I'm going to show y'all another way I prep this. I do take this off. That's very important to take that off. And so what I do again with this is... Again, I take my spackling. And um, actually, before I do this, let me do something for y'all real quick. Because I don't know if I explained it in the other video, but it's so important to cover this hole. I do have, um, there's a hole right here that I like to um, put hot glue on. So I'm going to just show y'all real quick. All right, so I got my hot, my hot glue right here. And so what I do with that little teeny piece right there, I block it off to protect the spackling. So that right there is very important. And y'all know hot glue don't take long to get hard. You don't need a whole lot. You just want to cover that. That's just it. And you're going to still need your hot glue because I'm going to show y'all why. <laughs> And so, I'll let that get dry a little bit. 
so it don't take long and so what I do next is with my spackling I do take my spackling and I just take it on the, on top of that just like that y'all you know and then I just go across it put all my spackling back and voila yep now I do this because this foundation help with the height of your uh, whipped cream or your ice cream whichever one you want it to look like and so you can clean it off if you want to or not but you still won't see it once you start the whipping process and so for me like I said I like things to be perfect I do clean it off <laughs> so but it's not you know that hard to do just go around the, the rim of it and just kind of wipe it off and then at the bottom part I'm gonna kind of show y'all you know as you can see the entire thing is completely covered but at the bottom part is where your hole is now because this right here has a handle to it I know where my hole is at which is like the most awesome part in the world and so I just take a straw and I kind of I can go this way I like going down this way because it's a lot more easier to clean and I make a hole I twist it too so that way it makes sure that and now you got yourself a hole that's the most important part of this entire process so you'll have a little mess right there which is okay so I just take my finger and I just wipe going across this way. That's just it. And then you go in there a little bit with a napkin. And just clean off whatever excess you got. Cause you don't want to wait till the last minute to clean that. So, and then that's it. That's all you got. You got yourself a nice little ready to go lid. So you leave this in the oven with your little small whips or whatever and then boom I will uh, let this sit the same way how I said you know somewhere in the heating area but this one right here I will let sit for more like two days because sometimes when you touch it in the middle it's still kind of soft because if you touch it and it seems like a bit uh, still kind of soft basically yeah I mean you could work on it right away but to me I allow it to sit two days in a nice warm heated area and so yeah that's how I get my lid prep ready to go all right so this right here is what I'm finna show y'all how it's going to look after it's dry you're gonna have this this right here is how your whip will look when it's dry the little small portion and then this right here is how it looks It's nice and dried on the top you know down here at the bottom is all nice neat and clean it makes it easier for when you're ready to epoxy your entire whipped cream you don't have to go into the creases or anything like I had showed y'all in the other video this is so much more easier I love it this way and so yep nice and dry and so what I do is I take my glue gun and I just go all up in it you know you can just glue it however the way you want to this right there, this actually do help to to secure your spackling when you're going into your whipping or ice cream process or whatever you want to call it I just take that and I just glue it in the middle and you see how high that's already sitting can't get no better it's just so beautiful and you still got your whole nice nice good ready to go all right so we're gonna i'm gonna show y'all how i got my uh ice cream how i do the ice cream you know in the swirl swirl ice cream you know how the stores do or whatnot we're gonna get it to look like oops that's my glue gun like that now you can see the difference between this and this so this one sit higher than this because this went through the lid process. This one is how I showed y'all how I started with the small piece in the middle first instead of using the foundation part 
of it, which is that right there. So just wanted to show y'all the difference. All right, so now she's up there, nice, ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to put this on top of that. Now, you don't have to put your straw in there. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but you really don't have to. Uh, it's up to you if that's how you feel you want to do. Cause you can always, you know, go right straight through it once you finish with your whip. But I'm gonna show y'all, see in the other video, I already showed y'all how you can work, you know, work your way around it with the straw in it. But I'm gonna show y'all another way of how I do it without doing that. So I'm gonna get my bag again. It's a little bit in there, but we're gonna need some more. And so the more uh, uh, spackling you got to use, the more materials you're going to have to use. So you, and the more uh, um, epoxy you have to use too. So, I mean, it's worth it at the end, you know, but you do use more material. Now you don't have to put no white in this because I noticed that some of their um, spackling comes with like a little shade, like a grayish, and some of them don't. It already come white. And so this one right here had already came white. It don't have like a grayish look to it. I don't know what be going on with the company, but whatever goes on with it. <laughs> I got a trick for both. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, so this one already has like a nice, you know, white ice, I mean, um, yeah, ice cream or whipped cream look to it. So you don't have to put no color to this and whatnot. And so, and on top of that, we want this to look more like an ice cream look. So we're not really going into the whipped cream look right now. All right, so like before I said, I gotta stand up for this. And hopefully I got enough in there for it. So, I always start right here. That's just how I do it. But y'all don't have to, but that's just how I do it. So we're gonna go around this, nice and fluffy. You wanna kinda go to your edge cause you want that full effect look. And then I bring it all around here. This is your ice cream. This is the look that you want for your ice cream. And then we do it like that. And so, um, I've explained to someone on Facebook that if you do not like this look, you can always take your spackling, I mean your spatula, and scoop it right on off, throw it right back in here, and go right back to doing what you did. That's just how easy it is. That's why I love spackling. I mean, it's, you can do this with all within one section. You don't have to worry about trying to, you know, throw it away or don't get upset with it because this is a practice, you know, day for y'all. You can scoop it all back up, put it right back inside your bag, start all over again until you are very happy and satisfied with that. All right, so now that I'm done with whipping it, I'm gonna show you guys how I took my straw and, you know, made the hole. Because this hole right here, is very, very important. So let me see if I have another straw in here. Because uh, I do have another straw that will allow me to go straight through it. So you don't want to use the straw with the tip on it because you want this to go straight through. You don't want to go up and pull down. It's going to be a hot mess. So you want to go straight through it. So that way you won't have to worry about a huge mess. So just take any type of straw that you got that don't have that little tip part at the end of it. And so I go up like this and I do it nice and slow. While I'm doing it, I'm twisting it and I'm moving it around because you want your straw to go through here. Kind of just use my other finger to do that. Yep, there we go. And that's it. And so I fix it up, you know, give it a nice little fix. You know, if you're like, ew, I don't like the way this looks, it's okay. The spackling, you can, uh, you know, mess around with it. 
kind of just pat it however the way you want to pat it and then you'll just got yourself a nice little hole yep and you can just let that sit and dry and I say let this dry like I said in a nice warm area I let this sit for about a good three days uh, about two or three days if you got like a heated area because you want the entire thing to be nice and workable to where you're able to put your uh you know your drip and everything on it and so after that I just go straight to adding my candies on it all of my candies so I just put you know whatever it is that you want to put on your on your whipped cream or your ice cream you could do it just like that and so that's basically it um my other videos I've showed you guys how I just you know I add candies or whatnot to it and so um Yep, you can put whatever you want to put on the top of it. Right now, we're doing the ice cream. I got candies all over the place, y'all. Trust me, it's kind of hard to find it. But, um, yep. And so, you can just take whatever you want and just put it on top. And that's it. We are good. So, please like and subscribe, you guys. I need y'all to like, subscribe, comment, share my page on my YouTube channel with everyone. Um, if you know people who is looking for these styles, these ideas, just bring them my way. And, um, you know, I can answer some questions or whatnot. I hope you guys like it. I hope this is a lot more easier for y'all. And so, just let me know what y'all think. Have a good one.